Have you ever wondered what would happen if you crossed Pokemon with Stardew Valley Animal Crossing at Adventure Time? Well, you probably didn't. But if you did, the result would most likely look a lot like Ooblets. In Ooblets, developed by Glumberland, you play as a young human being who left their old depressing life to venture to the land of Oob. As you are poor and have zero skills, hey, relatable. Upon your arrival, you of course immediately get appointed to be the assistant to the mayor of Badge Town. A town that has its fair bit of issues and is threatened to be shut down by the Ooblet High Council. Since the mayor doesn't want you to be homeless, you are given the old abandoned rundown farm right outside of town. You also get to choose a club to join, which comes with your first Ooblet. The titular Ooblets are little Pokemon-like creatures that grow out of the ground like plants and that like to do dance battles. From here on out, the game plays a lot like Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons or Stardew Valley, as you will spend most of your time growing different crops, improving your farm and helping out the people in town. But unlike in the other farming games, there is no calendar system and there are no seasons either, even though there is a day and night cycle and some random weather events. What moves the story along isn't the passage of time, but doing tasks from Mayor Tinsel, called Tinsel Tasks. These range from donating money or gummies, which is the local currency, or materials, to providing artisanal goods to venturing to the other regions of Oob and doing other tasks there. Gummies can be earned by selling crops and other goods at the town's various shops. You also get to befriend the different people in town by talking to them every day and occasionally doing little favors for them. Additionally, you can earn gummies by doing jobs that are posted daily at the vending machine wholesale supplier. Now, where do the Ooblets come in? Well, just like crops, you can grow Ooblets on your farm. Once they are hatched, you can either add them to your active party of Ooblets that walk around with you, or you can add them to the wildlands area. Or you can assign them to do different tasks around your farm, like watering your plants or getting rid of weeds. So they are basically your farm hands that you can grow yourself and that are an immense help in your day-to-day -day life. Unlike regular seeds, Ooblet seeds cannot be purchased at the local farming shop, but need to be earned by defeating wild Ooblets in a dance battle. Each type of wild ooblet has different preconditions you need to fulfill in order to battle them. Like some want a certain kind of food or whatever. The dance battles themselves are actually more like card battles, since each ooblet you take into battle comes with its own set of action cards. The goal of each battle is to get to a certain amount of points by using skill cards that give points or steal points from your opponent. Depending on the battle, up to six of your ooblets may partake. Some ooblets come with cards that steal points and some come with cards that buff your team or debuff the opponent team. After each battle, the Ooblets that participated gain experience points and once they level up, they unlock new cards. When you win a dance battle against a wild Ooblet, you get the option to accept a seed from the defeated Ooblet, which then is <clears throat> excreted and added to your inventory. Overall, the dance battles are not particularly deep or challenging, and you're most likely gonna win 95% of these without much effort. And even if you lose, there's no penalty or anything like that. But then there are the battles at the dance barn which is unlocked later in the game, where you can let your Ooblets compete against those of other townsfolk. These, on the other hand, can be quite frustrating though, because they oftentimes come with randomized rules like signatures only, where your Ooblets can only bring their signature move cards. This one in particular can make it impossible to win a battle, or even cause the battle to be stuck in a loop, like when the opponent doesn't have any cards that give them points, but only ones that stun your team, which results in you not being able to do anything so you'll have to wait until the battle runs out of turns, which is just annoying and seems like a huge waste of time. And that is pretty much it for the gameplay. Farming, crafting goods, cooking, improving and redecorating your farm, interacting with quirky people, getting more and more ooblets, and doing dance battles. As far as I know, there is no particular reward or even acknowledgement for getting every type of ooblet, which is a bit of a shame, but eh. The game is not really trying to be Pokemon. It's mainly a very unique spin on the whole farming game genre. And it works really well. What stands out are the style, the tone, the writing, and the characters. And the overall weirdness of the world. Even the simplest items in this game have an unusual name. Wooden planks are not called planks, they're planklets. Your watering can is not called a watering can, it's a dribbly can. Coffee is not called coffee, it's called bean juice. Fishing isn't called fishing, it's seed dangling. This type of writing and the overall style and laid-back attitude remind me a lot of Adventure Time. And let's just give him some, uh, purple whatevers. You mean the grapes? Yeah, whatever. And I personally find it quite endearing. Actually, in particular, the episode A Glitch is a Glitch by David O'Reilly comes to mind. All in all, I really enjoyed my time with Ooblets. It's a super chill game with very low stakes, where you learn to establish your own little routines and little by little improve the world around you. And I'm kind of a sucker for that kind of game. If you can take pleasure in its art style and bizarre sense of humor, and if you're looking to play something very relaxing that puts a slightly different twist on the whole Harvest Moon formula and wants something that offers very little of a challenge, I'd say go ahead and take a trip to the land of Oop. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please leave a like. 
And if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and I hope you have a lovely day.